Hi YouTube, it's me Nisha, aka Sister No, and I'm in with you with another, you know, video. Um, things may look a little different now because I actually have a new camera and a tripod that I've set up so that I can make videos hands-free. Hi, hands-free. Okay, yeah, whatever. Um, so now I'm not walking around back and forth with my camera and my and my, my tablet in my hand making videos. So I just wanted to come at you with my first video with my new camera. Um, I hope it looks good. I haven't done anything. I actually have been working on the um, editing software so that maybe I can get some editing done. And all that good stuff. I'm so excited. So, hi YouTube. It's me, Nisha, aka Sister No, and this is just the beginning of my YouTube world. Uh, well, okay, revisited. I've been a part of YouTube since like 2007, and so I think I'm into my seventh year. No, I know I'm into my seventh year, and um, I was like, well, it's fun. I love telling my story. I love talking. I love vlogging. I love teaching. I love doing whatever, giving my opinion, whatever it is I plan to do with this channel. I'm gonna do it, and the way I'm going to do it is um, instead of making a new channel for all of my interests, I'll label them whenever I name my um, video. So you'll know it's a vlog. You'll know basically the gist of what's in it. You'll know if I start doing my tarot readings or if I start doing anything different, I'll label my videos thus so you'll be able to see it. And if you're not interested in like, oh, my makeup journey or my weight loss journey or my life, then you ain't got to watch that particular video. So I just wanted to let you know that I won't be opening up a new channel because I did bandy about with that idea um, <clears throat> for a little while, but then I was like, no, because I've had this channel for so long, I don't want to, you know, compromise it by, like, making new channels, changing channels, and potentially losing the people that I've loved for, like, seven years, so and I would love to get more people to love and indulge the people I have and, you know, and, and, and watch you guys, too, so um, it's just my YouTube world. This is my YouTube world, and my world doesn't, like, I don't get to change over to, like, you know, Keisha, Kanisha, Tanisha based upon what's going on in my life I'm one person one life one video one account so that's why I'm keeping just one account and there's nothing against anybody who does differently it's just the way I'm gonna do it just to make my life easier because I love having my slew of videos that I've done over the years because if you look at my videos in the past which I've mentioned before they kind of run the gamut of everything but I do understand wanting to get them a little bit more organized and such so I will do that um, with my labeling but um, this video is a basic vlog I wanted to introduce my new camera lens my new angles all that stuff. I'm feeling good because my hands are free. I, I, I don't know. But, um, everything's about the same again like there's been no changes no updates I did have a great Easter Sunday I did something different I actually went to a church service that morning at like 8 o'clock I was we were done by like 9 30 so you know what I did I took myself out to eat at a nice restaurant everybody else was there with their families their kids their spouses their significant others their friends and I was there by myself sitting there reading my tablet with my book on it and enjoying my brunch I had a wonderful time no it's not something I want to make a habit of although I do eat out a lot by myself but I mean it's it's like I enjoy eating with my sister my my daughter my friends family everybody but the fact is is that I do enjoy my own company as well so it was like a new experience and that I went to a really nice restaurant really nice brunch by myself sat there had no problem and it was great um, and I spent my entire Easter that way I, the family time I guess you could say was when I went to church with my daughter and her grandparents and auntie and that was a beautiful experience but the the difference was is that I spent the rest of the day by myself and I did have some moments of sadness because I was at church and I missed my parents I missed my family because my my parents were apparently and, and, and I never thought about this as a kid but my parents are the glue that held the family and the extended family together and with their passing like I said before it's kind of dwindled down my blood relatives but the beauty is is I have people who care about me friends and family family that are blood and family that aren't that I'm very grateful for so it was just nice to spend time by myself but I mean it is something to be said about having family to go out with like you know your entire family out to eat but I'm okay either way so that was the one thing I did differently this past weekend um and then I have to tell y'all something okay so about a week ago my sister and I we had the craziest conversations I'm trying to talk her into doing a sister tag I'm trying to talk her into doing more videos with me because she's hilarious okay so the other day we were in the car 
And I don't know if y'all realize this, but I do, I, I have never been a high maintenance girl. I've loved wigs, I've loved makeup, I've loved doing my hair, that sort of thing, but I've never been able to put it together. Um, and lately, I've been trying my best to put it together with the hair, the makeup, the clothing, all that good stuff. And so I've been feeling pretty spiffy about myself lately, until last Sunday. And I mean, we were riding the car, let me tell the story, I'm going to tell the story, okay? We were riding in the car, I don't know where we were going. I don't know what we were doing, but I know we usually have a weekend where we, uh, every weekend we go shopping, lunch, hanging out, that sort of thing. So we were in the car. I was driving, okay? And then I don't know what I was talking about. Apparently, I was rambling about something until I felt this. And I was like, okay, well, maybe she's just having a moment and pausing, you know what I mean? And so I kept talking. You know, I, hey, yeah, woo, yeah. So I get my and I, I still felt this. So I'm like, what is, what is going on? You know, she's like. know what you're talking about. I, 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 you know, I know I have a few hairs every once in a while, so I was doing this while she was looking at me, and I'm like, okay, and then I felt her over to the side, because you know, I had to keep my eyes on the road, but I feel her over the side doing this. I couldn't really feel what she was talking about, and so I'm like plucking at imaginary hairs, everything, she's giving me looks over to the side, I, and remember I'm driving the whole time, but she's giving me these looks. And, and trying to find what she was talking about so I'm plucking all over the place and she's like and finally I get one hair one of them boom and then I see this look out the corner of my eye and ever since then y'all I have been paranoid my, that face Yeah, that one. That has been causing me paranoia about the hairs on my chinny chin chin ever since, okay? So, I have been plucking incessantly. Like, I always pluck my eyebrows. Well, I actually get those threaded, and in between threadings, I'll pluck them to keep them as clean as possible until I can't pluck anymore and I get them threaded. But now, I'm sitting on the toilet with the, with the tweezers just incessantly plucking chin hairs because now... I'm paranoid. And that is my story because that's the kind of interactions my sister and I have on a regular basis. That's my best friend, my favorite person in the world, and she is not afraid to tell me that I have hairs on my chinny chin chin. Now, um, I don't have, you know, a problem with, uh, you know, that sort of thing, but I, I, I was like, you know, I, I wear my MAC makeup and stuff. And she's like, that that don't really matter. I was like, I know. But the point is, is I'm trying to, you know, upgrade my look, upgrade myself. And I didn't know I had chinny chin chin hairs. So there's people that have been staring at me. And I'm thinking, oh, they think I look nice. No, they were staring at my chin hairs. I didn't know. I didn't know people. But it's okay. It's okay. My weekly vlogs will continue. I will continue to wear my little makeup and my hair, my new clothes. And I will be plucking at my chinny chin chin hairs because uh, facial hair is not cute on women. And apparently it does run in my family. I know that my mom had it. Auntie has. I mean, it's just it's just one of those things that women have, okay? And as I get older, apparently it's going to get <clears throat> maybe potentially a little out of control. So I have to keep an eye on it. But here's the irony. When I'm looking in the mirror trying to pluck them, I can't see them. I'm so serious. My sister does not believe me. And I talked to my friend. She didn't believe me either. But I really, when I'm holding the mirror, no matter where I'm holding the light, I cannot see them. And I don't know if it's because I wear glasses. My glasses aren't low enough or what. But I really cannot see my chin hairs. So I'm literally blindly plucking. I can't feel them. I can't see them. But I literally blindly pluck them. But it's all good. I'm just going to keep plucking them because I don't want them there. And if I have to, I will get them waxed. I will get them threaded. I don't care. I just want them off my face because... That's just not cute to have your eyebrows all nice, but your chin just a mess. So, all right. Well, I'll see you guys next week. And I have a couple of ideas for videos. I just had to tell the chinny chin chin story just because it's just a, an example of how my sister and I interacted. She is a hot mess. She's a mess. She's a mess. So I'm hoping that we can do some videos together. So everybody have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.